still almost a month and a half later, there has not been one single good explanation for this image in Antarctica. It goes all the way back to 2009. And there is no trick of light or shadow here. When you look at this image, you can very clearly see the construction of a face. This isn't just redaction. Some other channel had looked at this and thought that that's what this was. What this is, how it was created, and what it could mean, that this stuff isn't more prevalent than what it is on YouTube, shows that there is a concerted effort to hide something in Antarctica. And I know that sounds super conspiracy, but try to wrap your mind around the idea of a continent, the fifth largest one on the planet, where there's virtually no information whatsoever coming out of it. This laughable theory that it's the one continent that has no indigenous life forms, yet 75% of the fresh water. The one indicator, the one indicator, science says, if we go out to the stars and we find some planet, that if it's going to have life, it's going to need to have some type of liquid or ice water. When they say the location on our planet that has 75% of it is uninhabited, other than by leopard seals and penguins. It's ridiculous. Now, very close to this region, I would like to show you something that I kind of missed, and I had circled it at the time, and it's a great um, indicator that there was at one time a society on the surface, and they had to leave. They were either largely destroyed and only a few of them survived to make it underground, or there was some concerted effort to go underground. Now, looking at this mountain ridge, it makes a lot of sense. You have this side on the left, that is the sunny side, and then you have this side over here, that's the dark side. But wait a minute. On the dark side, there is this very strangely shaped area that is bathed in light. Well, how could that be? Especially when you can see that there's a dark area here as well. Well, the only way this can be is if there's this giant pillar on the far side of the mountain that goes straight up over the height of this ridge and has a slight angle that way and is catching some light. Now, can we see this in the shadow? Well, there's a very long shadow here, so you can tell where the sun is coming from. It's coming from, if you could probably just kind of get your mind into it, the bottom of the screen going toward the top of the screen. So when you look up at the end of the shadow, what do you see? Lo and behold, that's exactly what it is. But look at the shape, though. Does that look normal? Does that look natural? Does that look like something that could have survived the continual blasting of wind and frozen ice? Absolutely not. And look at this ridge next to it. This perfect sheer drop-off. To line all of this up and then see what this is here shows very, very clearly that this is the remnants of some civilization on the surface. There's another area over here that shows the exact same thing. These look very, very much constructed. I don't know how they would have, how any natural formation like this would have survived. Over the, if science is to be believed, the thousands and thousands of years of constant blowing wind and particles of ice. Ice that's, you know, harder than rock in very tiny amounts, you know, acts like sandblasting. This just would not have survived unless it was a created structure meant to survive, created in a way to survive. 
this is the kind of stuff that if I can find it in a 2009 layer, and it's now the end of 2019, someone else must have. Now, who? Who knows? There's a lot of governments on Earth, and there's a lot of secret stuff that happens. But I'd like to go through a series of finds with you that I really just don't have any really good explanation for. I don't have a good way to describe what I'm looking at. Now, let's see. This just looks like a piece of ocean. And let's see if I can find what year I was looking at here. Ah, 2004. Alrighty. We're going to skip this one real quick. I clicked on the wrong one. I apologize for that. Let's go up to the top one. All right. Looking at this, I don't have a very good explanation for what this could be. It looks like, perhaps, some type of a creature. But then this, for lack of a better description, wishbone-shaped triangular feature or structure, another one right next to it. It just doesn't seem to me that ice, wind, rock, and snow would do this by itself. And these are all over the place, and in different years, so you'll have to just bear with me for one second while I find these. Ah, once again here. Look how perfectly this, it looks like somebody just cut these channels here. None of this makes any sense. How would something like this have just occurred without there being some type of human intervention or effort? Once again, here, and look at the shape of this dark feature on the ice. Does this not look like this could be some type of a large shark or living creature that got pulled up onto the ice for some reason? I mean, you can see evidence of a tail, legs, some type of structure on the back, a head. These things are just, and like I said, I wish I had a good way to describe this. That looks very much like the head or face of an animal. Whatever is going on here, I just have no earthly way of describing, especially something like this, where you can see that it's, I just don't have any good word to describe it, but I for sure have never seen formations like this in the snow just occur by themselves, naturally, as the result of melt or wind or whatever. And I'm sure a lot of you have explored these regions and some of you have sent me images like this and saying, what is this? What is this? I wish I could tell you that this isn't front page stuff. Like, for example, here, look at this shape. How on earth, from any angle, you look at this, could you explain it? as anything other than some kind of a creation of an intelligence. I think one thing that people might have to ask themselves is this. If, if the Nazis were successful, 
and they were able to set up a colony down there. If there were indigenous people living down there under the ice that they encountered, what do you think the Nazis would have done? I suppose it would have probably depended on the level of technology and warlike nature of the people. But if they were generally in just survival mode, that could have been something the Nazis took advantage of. I mean, that would make sense, right? I mean, they would be showing up with guns and weapons that hadn't been seen in, you know, if this had been a society that was cut off for hundreds of years. They might have had certain technologies, but you know, others like war technologies, they might not have. And you would have to wonder, do these people still think that the world is living through an ice age? I mean, it's possible. And I guess I'll just leave it with an image like this, because the amount of confusion, the amount of unnatural shape here, even that is, it isn't coherent, it still shows something else very different than what science is telling us. And I guess I'll just leave that there. Like, share, subscribe.